Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my completely custom made uh, Future Planet Playmobil laser cannon. This is actually a completely remote control cannon that can also interact with the remote control cars that Playmobil makes. So, um, all these sets are retired though, so if you uh, are worried about breaking something, you probably shouldn't do this. I'm really happy with this modification though. So basically what's running it is this is actually a computer board out of one of these type car. I took apart the car and I desoldered all of the original motors and everything off of it. And then um, now it's running a side to side servo motor and also an up and down servo motor. And then, uh, yeah, and then I hooked up a bigger speaker. Uh, there's double A's now running it instead of triple A's. And then here's the spot where you can shoot it. And then, obviously, here is actually a larger size laser cannon than what the cars have. The cars have just this little laser cannon on the front. So I actually hacked one of these laser cannons here to shoot when I uh, tell the computer board to shoot. So I actually completely removed the computer board out of here. So now the infrared and the LED are actually running off of the computer board. And then all of these servos are regular airplane and helicopter servos that I removed the original three wires, the white, the red, and the black which is an indirect servo drive and I just hook these wires directly onto the motor contacts. If you have any questions I'm happy to answer any of those in the comment section. So now I'm going to turn it on so instead of it having the crystal like this where you have to have the crystal in there uh, to run it I have a switch bypassing that so the switch is the on off it still turns off after five minutes because I wasn't able to locate any sort of a non-stop link like some of the other Playmobil computer boards I've hacked. So it still turns off. So uh, forward and backward on the controller or up and down on the laser cannon. And then side to side. It can go all the way to that side and then all the way to that side. So if you're being attacked at close ranges, it's helpful to be able to aim a bit lower to actually shoot the car. So I'm going to, oh, I already turned on the car. So you can see it actually does work. And then with the car, though, you can actually shoot the laser cannon. So you just aim right there and it gets hit. So it's a really neat hack. I'm hoping eventually I'll be able to boost the speaker level so it's a bit louder because you can't really hear it that well right now. Um, so you can see this is just another Playmobil piece that I glued on. It's a weird wall piece that I wasn't ever really able to use. So I just glued that onto the servo. And then this is off of a 1999 space station. That's not actually permanently glued at all. You can see you can actually remove that and the chair too. Those are completely unmodified pieces that you can just stick on there when you want to. And then, yeah, this is all glued together. And yeah, it's a really neat hack. And it looks really neat too, I think. Here. If you're having a tip problem, it's probably because my chair is too far forward. There. So you can see, now it's not tipping. So, I'm really happy with this hack. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. And if you have any questions on modifying Playmobil in general, I'm happy to try and answer any questions. 
Thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out my other videos on my channel.